Hey guys, my name's Fabe and welcome back to another episode of Banished Season 2. So you guys had some uh, pretty helpful comments in the last two episodes. I made a few mistakes, let's give this hunter a chance. Um, I think I was focusing too much on food right off the bat. And this means that I was wasting a bunch of resources. Um, people said that the gatherer side in the beginning is mostly sufficient for a population like that. And I can see that. Um, a woodcutter would be nice too, wouldn't it, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's get all these people, let's give them some a good job to work. Um, but yeah, that might have been a waste of resources. Uh, however, what we should do is we should focus on um, store tools maybe, so uh, maybe a blacksmith. I mean, we have only a little bit of iron right now, and also something I didn't notice is this. What is this? In the vanilla version, this is supposed to be coal. But I have no idea what this little icon means for some reason. I don't know, maybe we'll find out later. But uh, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. <laughs> maybe you guys have a good idea. I'm not sure what I actually need to do, like steel tools and stuff, if coal is not uh, a resource anymore. Okay, so two things that I wanna do today. I wanna build a blacksmith. And I wanna build a... Um, no, I forgot it. A school, so our people can work more efficiently. Um, I don't know if I want to build a blacksmith, although we are gonna have some mines here around this mountainside later on. So I might as well build them like maybe right here, right next to the barn. Yeah, let's do this. Let's build them here for now. What other buildings are still in progress? I need a few builders, I saw still. Two out of two. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, we are. Are we still building some houses down here, maybe? This is paused for now. Um, so other stuff is getting built faster. People are still kinda homeless. Obviously, tools are more important at the at this minute. And I'm not gonna enable the, the fourth crop field quite yet. I don't think we need it in any case. Uh, we need a trading post soon. I don't... Uh, we don't really have something to trade yet, so let's, let's wait a bit on that. It's hard. Um, I come from the old season where we had everything. And it's hard for me to see in which order um, I should get these things again. So bear with me, we'll get there eventually. Um, so let's build this blacksmith for now and maybe use some of the iron. We're gonna use almost all of it. You know what we need to do? We need to harvest a lot more iron. Look at this, here's a lot of iron lying around. Let's get this patch here and maybe this patch up here. Laborers get to work with more laborers too. <laughs> what is something I don't need that many of right now? I kinda don't want to take away from my food production, although it might be a little overkill. Let's take one away from the hunters. I really need to get this iron in the house. This is this is built very fast. I like that. I guess it's right, right next to it, all the resources we have. But still, it's good. Wheat is growing, beetroots are growing, more wheat is growing. Um, still not quite sure, as I mentioned in the last last episode, I think. Still not quite sure how the miller and the bakery actually affect the efficiency. Haven't seen a comment about this yet. <laughs> but probably because you guys don't know either. I mean, not many people are playing more that I still think most people are sticking to Vanilla Banished. The good old Vanilla Banished. But yeah, I think stuff is coming along. We have a good amount of firewood, so that's not an issue. Oh! Blacksmith is done already. Um, crude tools, wooden iron, iron tools, wooden iron. What's the difference? I'm gonna go with iron tools because that's what I know. Maybe the other ones are just cheaper. Blacksmith, here we go. Let's keep the build. Oh, I guess the builders are doing laborer work by default if they don't have anything to do. Is what I assume from what I've read. So we got someone producing tools now. Yeah, we have lots of logs and we do have a little bit of iron. We should get more hopefully soon with people working on these patches here. So we can get some more tools going. And next up, I think I should wait a bit probably. What time are we playing at? Five times the speed? That's what we played most of season um, one with two. Yeah, you are on hold. I don't I don't need the fishing hut quite yet. That might have been a waste of resources, especially this long road back there. It took a long time. 
Hey, mm, I should have saved it up for later. Auto save. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's. Do I want to have a limit on those? Let's up it to. I don't really want to have a limit because firewood is really, really good. Um, good for trading. Look at all these mushrooms still here. Just the gatherer doesn't reach that far. But yeah, um, also I got the suggestion that the gather wait that the foresters and the gatherer side should be close together. However, all this mushroom and these roots and this stuff, uh, they don't spawn under young trees. They need old trees to spawn below. And while I get that the forester makes the forest denser. Um, later on when I have some spare people, I'm gonna put a forester here and set him to plant only. So he only plants trees that go down. But does not... I should really get rid of the stuff here. Uh, but does not uh, chop them down, so we'll have more and more old trees. Blacksmith well, doesn't have a tool? That's not right. <laughs> he's the first one who should get a tool. Wow. Hope he's getting to work now. How's our, our iron is going up, that's good. It's not looking too bad. We didn't use much food throughout this year yet, which is also very nice. So overall, I think things are things are going quite nicely. I think the next step we should consider is building a school because a school boosts up the efficiency by quite a bit. So where town services, I would so I would guess. Is there a bigger school now? I don't think there is. Back alley, nope, that's definitely not bigger. Schoolhouse, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Here. Yeah, let's do it. That's gonna I still need houses, guys! I still need houses. I think I want to put a stone house uh, on this side. Yeah. Let's put one here. And I probably should build another barn somewhere up here too, sooner rather than later. But one, one step at a time. Not too many buildings at the same time, otherwise our builders will be will be um, too stressed out. We don't want to stress out our builders, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Maybe they should stress out a bit, but at the same time I really want to get this iron. Yeah, but iron production is good enough for now. So I'm, I, ca I couldn't be more satisfied with that. Logs are being produced. I'm gonna up... Oh wow. Well. Um, yeah, 250 sounds about a good number. I don't like having these limits. I see how they can make sense. For example, it doesn't make sense to produce more more firewood if I'm low on, on logs. Um, but more, than, more often than not, it's kind of more restrictive. Alright, how's the harvest going? Looking good so far. So these uh, beetroots seem to be growing very fast, somewhat like beans. I like that about them, so... Definitely gonna use them a little more often. Stuff is being done. Stuff is brought home. Okay, okay, okay. How's the school doing? It hasn't begun yet. What else am I building? I'm building this house over here. Building the school over there. Is that all? Yeah, I think the rest is still paused. Look at these nice autumn colors. I love that. This season of X mod really makes it look. Oh, early winter. Not a good harvest. Well, uh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Crap. So, from what I gather is that two farmers are the most efficient. But, well, gathering food per, la per laborer, that is. However, if I want to get max food per crop field, I should probably have, like, three on a crop field. But now our restriction is not the, the space, our restriction is the laborer, so I think I'm gonna keep it like that. So no one is bored and they can harvest until the, the winter comes down. Alright, blacksmith is doing the work. 56 tools already, look at that. Look at this guy being busy. Awesome. How are we doing over here? School, yeah, school is very important. Especially um, if I go for the apiary strategy. I mean... 
Okay, let me let me let me explain it. Apiary is, I think, something um, a mod that the developers published in the first place, as far as I know. And then later on, someone took it over and developed it further because they thought it was a little overpowered. It seems to give a lot of food for such a small building. But from what I read is that uh, apiarist is that the is that the beekeeper? <laughs> beekeeper, that's the word. Um, the education of the beekeeper makes like double the efficiency or even more of the apiary. So I would definitely want to have a school ASAP. But it looks good so far. I really need to get this house done. Because my people are still not having a roof above their head. Which is kind of concerning in year three. Three years without a roof above their head? That's not a good way to live. <laughs> uh, but I think we got a pretty stable economy now. Yep, no one is no one is starving. Um, herbalist might be something we want to look out for to get our health up a little more. The average health of our citizens. Food is doing very good. Oh wow, I really need to get another barn going. If this barn is full... Oh, teacher, teacher, teacher! We need a teacher! Come on, start teaching our, our population here, please. Uh, we really need to start building another barn. I think I'm gonna build it here. So, we have two on the opposite sides. I think that should work. I, I'm not gonna assign more builders right now. How's our iron patch doing? I don't know which one I told them. I think it was here. The one I told them to remove. And the other one was down here. Oh, they're doing some work. And after that I will probably remove the stone around here too. And once everything is cleaned out, I might add a forester in this little patch of of uh, buildings to replant the forest where all this iron and all the stone was. I mean, we want to get rid of that. And did I tell him to get rid of this too? Nope, I did not. This is in the way. And there's even more here. Look at that. Iron everywhere. There's a little bit of iron too. Okay, that looks good. Everything out of the way for our forester. So he can work efficiently. Are we having students? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I, I really should focus on building houses now, I think. To get our population up a bit, because as long as we have people without a roof above their head, they are not gonna reproduce, at least not as fast. So I would even go that far and build a second house here. And yes, I'm doing that again. I'm moving very early on. Okay, I guess the 500, li 600 limit is alright, because we are getting kind of low on logs, so it should work out. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going with stone house strategy again because it saves us just so much firewood in the beginning. Reason for tools is low. No, oh that was oh that was ages ago. These messages, late summer, no messages since then. It's kind of unfortunate. I would love to see some babies being born. Early spring. There we go. Get on the crop fields, my farmers, and bring us more food. It doesn't look like we are using that much food some reason so maybe a trading post is something I should consider how expensive were those uh, which one was it I think it was this one no um, this one yes that's the one 82 80 and 40 I can afford that I can definitely afford that and maybe I can store some stuff it's a little unfortunate it's so far away from our main base, but we could start building a second base around here. Where would I build it? Yeah, I think this seems like a good spot. Could I? You know, sometimes I wish you could do buildings diagonally. Could build it up here too. Ooh, maybe like that? No. Can I? Uh, I don't know if that takes away from the water space. You know, from our fisher. But I'm almost tempted to build it right next to it. Yeah, I'm not sure if it takes away from the efficiency of our fishing hut. 
Anyway, I think I'm gonna build it here because that is like the closest I can get it um, towards remove roads. That should be good enough. Let's test it out. Let's double check. No, one one tile more needs to go. So let's do. Oop. Come on, let me do it. Let's do this, and then we should be good to go. And I'm gonna just reroute the road below. Maybe even get rid of this whole road and make it uh, come over here a little further down. Maybe I'm gonna sync it up with a crop field. <laughs> My love for symmetry, guys. My love for symmetry. Okay, let's do that. Let's pause it for now. And this way we can have the road. Uh, it might still not be enough space. I'll have to check it out. I'll definitely have to check it out. But first of all, these houses are way more important. Looks like we still have one citizen without a roof on, on their head, above their head. A child was born though, very nice indeed. Okay, we need less builders at the moment. What do I want to fill up? I think we just need to labor us right now. We need to get rid of all this iron and all the stone around here. Iron, stone, mining. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. Okay, this barn is done, which should make this year's harvest a lot more efficient. Also that we have a house on this side now. That should all help out. And I should probably upgrade that at some point in the future. I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. I think it would be a waste. I could, should rather build a new house instead of upgrading. Okay, we still don't have any fishers. But we are doing splendidly. Con uh, yeah, considering our food. I think the next building I really want to do is the herbalist. I want these herbs in our town to get our health up and running. Are we, are we having students now? Still no students? What? Come on children, grow up! Grow up! I need you. I need the workforce. 45% yeah. Beetroots are definitely a fast growing crop. So last season, I'm not sure that was a good strategy. Last season, I I did basically a variety. I did all the crops I had. I planted them all. I tried to get all of them. And I'm not sure if it would be smarter to focus on either fast-growing crops or resistant crops. Or if it's... A, what is the advantage of having like a very sensitive and very slow growing crop. What are the advantages? I know food variety is an advantage to get the happiness of the population, but in a mod pack like that, we have so many different food items, I'm not sure that it would be necessary. So if you have an idea about that, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear your opinion on the different types of crops being planted. I mean, it kind of worked last uh, season, the strategy, although we had a lot of famine, so I wonder if it would have been better, and these laborers sure should go to work. I wonder if it would have been better if I had only like beans. I mean, of course, an infestation can ruin the whole harvest, but still, maybe not only beans, but only co focusing on maybe two to three different crop types. Let me know what you think, and I'm gonna get a herbalist into place. It's kind of a weird feeling that I can't fill up all these buildings right away. I'm so used to just pop, 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 building fully, fully occupied. But that's not how it works in the early game. <laughs> uh, yep, I'll get used to it, don't worry. Okay, zero students still. Oh, iron supplies are doing good. So I think we should focus on collecting some stone here. Maybe in this whole area getting it all out of the forest so we can have just a pure forest. How about some harvesting, guys? There we go. I thought it was about time. It's still 19 degrees. That's that's very good, but it might drop fast. You never know what happens. Okay. Okay. Food is still doing very good, as I mentioned. How many farmers do we have right now? Six. 
So a third of our population is already busy farming again. Last time it was a really, really big part. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me. It kind of worked out the last season. We had a pretty successful town for over 100 years. But at the same time, I wonder which parts could be more optimized. Especially the food production. Alright, looks like we are gonna get a good harvest here. The temperatures are still pretty warm. So let's see what we can get out of that. Yeah, the, the food supplies are definitely still increasing. The barns are getting filled up. I think the next goal for us should be a trading post. So we can get some some nice stuff. And I also should maybe worry about a tailor um, sooner than last season to get our people clothed properly. Yep. That's the goal. Tailor and a trading post for next episode, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. I'll catch you all later.